The inviolability of diplomats, is one of the oldest rules of international law. During the Greek Empire, an envoy was not to be maltreated, and could not be arrested or detained. In modern days, diplomatic immunity from court jurisdiction, became accepted as a rule of international law, with the main objective, to ensure the effective performance of diplomatic functions, which prevents the hosting authority, from intervening with the diplomat work. The diplomatic immunity is divided in two categories. First, immunity of the embassy premises and properties, like the buildings, vehicles, archives and diplomatic communications. While the hosting authority, has a duty to protect the diplomatic premises, against any damage, the embassy remains immune, from any law enforcement measures, as the police is not allowed to enter the embassy, except to protect human life, in case of extreme emergency. A notable example, was the shooting incident, at the Libyan embassy in London, where the UK continued to respect the inviolability of the embassy, despite the shooting of a police officer, by a bullet fired from within the premises. The second type, is the immunity of the personnel working in the embassy, from local courts jurisdiction, which means that the diplomat, is absolutely immune, from any form of law enforcement, like arrest, detention, and search. In addition to immunities, the envoy and his family, also enjoy certain privileges in the hosting country, as the embassy is exempt from paying taxes, except the payment for services like electricity or water bills. And the diplomat is also exempt from baggage inspection, unless there are serious grounds, that his baggage contains prohibited or illegal materials. On the other side, privileges and immunities can also apply, to non-diplomatic personnel. Those are the admin and technical foreign staff, who enjoy limited immunity from civil jurisdiction, for actions only performed at work, while non-diplomatic employees, resident in the receiving territory, they do not get any privileges or immunities. The diplomatic immunity, can only be waived by the sending government. Otherwise, the hosting country can declare the envoy, a persona non grata.